Hey, so this is going to be part one in a tutorial series where I want to actually cover how to use the mod tools for MCC. Uh, this is going to be specifically for speed running. Uh, that's primarily the audience I'm going for here. Uh, it's basically going to be how do you open up the tools? How do you use them? Um, how to look at things like basically just use them to reverse engineer how the game works and how things, you know, all the moving parts. Um, the tool I'm going to specifically cover in this video is Sapien. Sapien is really good for looking at trigger volumes and also volumes like BSP loads. Very, very powerful tool. Uh, I use it all the time. And each game in the Master Chief collection uh, is packaged with their own version of Sapien. Uh, the versions I'll show off are going to be, I'm going to start with CE, just because CE is the simplest and easiest. Um, I'll also show H3 a little bit, just show you some different terminologies they used in the later Halos. And I'm going to show the most different of them all, which is Halo 4. Halo 4's Sapien is like completely different than the other games. The other games, you look at one, you've seen them all. Uh, Halo 4 is very different, so I will cover that a little bit as well. Um... So this is going to be step one. How do I install the tools? Uh, well, after you have MCC installed, go ahead and go up to the top left uh, of Steam, and you'll see Games. Click on that little drop down. Click on Tools, and then I'll just uncheck Games as well. And you'll see all these mod tools under Halo, and also for whatever other game you have installed, but specifically the Halo ones. Um, so I'm going to show this from a fresh install. So I installed the Halo CE mod tools completely fresh. Um, it looked like this. I clicked install, let it install, and now it's installed. Um, and this is going to be true for all the games. You cannot use them yet. Um, you actually have to go to the folder where it was installed. So I installed it on my E drive. So I went to my Steam apps common, installed it here, Halo CE, uh, EK, which I believe stands for editing kit. Go ahead and open up that folder. You'll see a batch script called, you know, whatever the title of it is, extract.bat. Go ahead and just double click that. And what this will do is extract this 7Z uh, into all the folders that you'll need, basically in a form that you can use the tools with. So that's step one. Install it from Steam, go to the folder where it installs, and run this batch script. All right, so it has finished extracting. Uh, you'll probably see new folders like data and uh, tags. These are going to be our two important things. All right, so now how do you launch the tools? Uh, there's a couple tools to know about. Um, well, a few, few of them, actually. The first one's the tag test. Second one's Gorilla. Third one's Sapien. I'm going to go over Sapien today. I'll go over the other two later. Um, there's two ways you can launch Sapien. You can just launch the CXC like that, uh, or you can also launch things from the actual launcher. So I'll launch Sapien that way. <clears throat> um, so once you launch Sapien, uh, it's just going to open up this folder, select a scenario, do it. <laughs> um, and where the scenarios are, and the scenarios are basically um, basically just builds of the maps that you look at in the tools. Um, so go ahead and click on tags, I'll show you where these are, and then levels. And then these are all the levels in order. So POA, Halo, TNR, et cetera. Um, they just name them this way. Um, I'm going to look at a simple level, um, which is going to be Halo. It's two BSPs, and the triggers tend to not get crazy. Um, some of these levels, they get a little hectic. So I'm going to select Halo. Um, and then what you're specifically looking for is a 30 dot scenario. Don't worry about these other scenario files. Just click on the main one. So I'm going to double click on that and it will launch Sapien. One thing to note when you first boot into Sapien, uh, these windows, you can X them out. Like if you accidentally X out the game window, not a big deal. Click on view, click on game window. There we go. Sometimes you have to press it twice, but, uh, let's say you get your windows back you can do the same with like like output window, just view, output window. It'll come back, no big deal. Okay, so once you launch Sapien, it'll look something like this. Uh, you'll have your game window, you'll have a tool window, and your output window. I'm not really gonna cover what these two are because I very rarely use them. Uh, the two that you're gonna be mostly interested in are the hierarchy view and the properties palette. 
Um, I'll go over these two later on when we look at our tr first uh, trigger volumes. The first thing I want to cover is the controls of the game window. The game window shows you the render of the actual scenario that you're looking at. Um, so first off, hold down middle click inside the game window and that's what will let you move the camera with your mouse. Uh, so holding down middle click is what will let you interact with the game window basically. You can use WASD to move around. If you want to go up, use the R key. If you want to go down, use the F key. Um, so those are the controls. Uh, you move very slowly to start off with. If you, hold, uh, again, holding down middle click for all of this. If you press shift, you can actually change the speed. You can see right there, 1, 5, 20, <clears throat> 40, 60, etc. Um, so let's say you control the speed of your movement. There is another way that you can control the speed inside the game window. If you're holding down middle click and you scroll up, it'll actually slow down your movement speed. Holding down middle click and scrolling down will speed up your movement speed. Just another way to speed up your speed. I don't use it very often. I typically just use shift to control the game speed. Uh, a little bit easier. Um, but those are your basic controls. Uh, you can move, you can go up and down, etc. Uh, one other thing you'll want to do is switch BSPs. So this is the first area of Halo. Um, but if we want to look at the three areas like rubble, uh, river and cliff, uh, that's actually on the other BSP. So to switch BSPs, uh, go up here at the top left, this little menu up here, click on edit, you'll see switch BSP, click on that. And then here we go. You can see the two BSPs right here. So if you click on B and then click OK, It'll snap you over to this BSB, which, as you can see, is the three areas that I was talking about earlier. So that's basically what you'll need to know about controlling Sapien, uh, switching BSPs and controlling the window. Okay, so now that we know the basic controls of Sapien, let's look at our first trigger volume. Uh, so I went over to the river area. This is the last area that we do in the CE speedrun uh, for Halo. And uh, one thing that's kind of weird about specifically CE Sapien is it doesn't always render the environment, uh, like all the rocks and the trees and stuff. I don't know why, but uh, if you want to fix this, go over here to your hierarchy view. Now we're going to use these properties in hierarchy. Uh, go ahead and expand the mission folder then expand the objects folder. Click on scenery. That'll render all the trees and the rocks and stuff. So look a lot more like it does if you get here on the speed run, uh, which is very nice. Uh, help us get our bearings better and we'll be able to better visualize where exactly these trigger volumes are. Okay, so now that we know how to fix the scenery, let's look at some trigger volumes. So again, back down your hierarchy view, expand game data and you'll see a folder called trigger volumes. Go ahead and click on that and you'll see it renders a bunch of boxes and these boxes are trigger volumes. Um, red means they're not selected. Click on one. Green means it is selected. If it is selected, go to your properties palette. You'll see the name of the trigger. And this one's called River Retreat. And using this in conjunction with the scripts, again, in the description, I do have a GitHub page, all of the scripts that you would ever want and need. Um, and I expanded Halo 1 levels and I went to A30, which is the level we're looking at, Halo. And you can see actually Mission River right here, and you can see the Sleep Until Volume Test Objects River Retreat Halo. Uh, this is actually what progresses Mission River towards the end. So you're driving in, and you want to drive up this hill and hit this trigger, um, and that's what will progress the river towards the end. It's the one over at Rubble. So, you know, if you're on Legendary and you want to basically just you know, you have to take a specific driving path in order to hit this trigger in particular, rubble attack. So, you know, you're driving through, you drive past this rock, but you need to come up here a little bit to hit this trigger. Um, and that's what progresses rubble towards the end. Um, so yeah, that's how you look at some different trigger volumes and whatnot. Um, okay, one thing to note, um, just because these triggers can get a little wily, there's a lot of them. In fact, there's a giant go to hell trigger right here. I don't really care about this trigger. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna hit the delete key and that'll get rid of it. And you can do this to kind of, you know, there's a plant trigger here, don't care about it, delete it, etc. cetera. Um, you can't control Z, at least on CE Sapien. So uh, be careful what you uh, go ahead and delete 
One other thing I'll want to show is BSPs. So BSPs are special kinds of triggers. Um, one other useful thing to know about the hierarchy view, if you click on trigger volumes, you can scroll through the different names. And the one we're looking for right here, you double click on that, it'll snap you right to it. This is <clears throat> BSP zero to one. So how you read these is BSP zero to BSP one. Go up to switch BSP again. This is gonna be zero index. So BSP zero is A, BSP one is B. So what this, particular volume does is it takes you from BSP index zero to BSP index one and BSPs will usually be near each other. So um, you'll see another one right here. This one takes you from BSP index one or B to BSP index zero, which is A. Um, so those are BSPs, uh, BSP switches in particular. Um, these are just special kind of triggers that will trigger the game to load in the next area basically. One other thing I'll note real quick, the scenarios for Halo 3 are also in the same spots. Um, again, it's go under uh, go under tags, levels, solo, and you can see all the levels. Um, in particular, I was looking at jungle. So same format. Uh, the only one that's different is Halo 4. All right, so I went ahead and did that same process which the with the uh, Halo 3 editing kit. Um, again, just running this extract.bat, starting up Sapien. And I went ahead and loaded up Jungle, which is, uh, as you can see, Sierra. Um, and I just want to go over this mostly because there's a couple differences in like the naming with the later Halos. Um, in particular, they named the folder Scenario and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and expand this. One other thing you'll know, um, instead of Switch BSP, you'll see Switch Zone Set. Um, I'll go ahead and switch over to Dam. Um, and the zone set is basically the same as a BSP. They're functionally the same exact thing. So um, zone sets, BSPs, use them interchangeably. They're, for our purposes, they're basically the same. Um, so I loaded in the damn BSP or damn zone set. Um, and what's really good about this is, so if I go to game data, trigger volumes like usual, um, you click on that, you can see every trigger volume under the sun, but what was really nice with the later Halos is you can actually expand this trigger volumes folder and you can see specific trigger volumes. In particular, trigger volume zone sets, these were the, um, uh, these are the trigger volumes that switch zone sets or BSPs. Um, you can also see uh, trigger volume dam, and these are only the trigger volumes that are relevant to dams. So you can see nothing else is anywhere else. If I were to click on all of them, you can see them. they're everywhere. But if I just click on TV dam, I only see the dam triggers. Um, so that's one thing that's really, really nice about the uh, later games is they definitely organize this a lot better. Um, but yeah, that's basically the only difference. If you see TV in later games, it stands for trigger volume uh, and then zone sets. Again, you can think of them functionally equivalent as BSPs. Um, so yeah, that's Halo 3's uh, Sapien. You see, it's basically same kind of format as uh, as CEs. So you have your game window and all your all your panels. One final important thing that you need to know for Halo 3 and onward are things called soft ceilings or elastic barriers. These are barriers that, like, if you try to go out of bounds, you know, those little things that push you back in. Um, you can visualize them in Sapien. They're useful to look at. Uh, so in the game window, so basically middle click on it, and then you don't need to middle click anymore. Press the home key. You press the home key, it actually brings up the debug menu. This is useful. Uh, how you navigate this is with the arrow keys, and then you can press the enter key to enter a menu. And if you press the end key, it'll bring you back. So enter and end. Uh, bring you forward and back respectively. If you want to look at soft ceilings, go ahead and go to debug. And you can look through all of these and play around with them if you want to. But I specifically want to show this. Go down to environment. And then you'll see debug structure soft ceilings. Go ahead and turn that on. And uh, that'll render the soft ceilings for you to look at. They can be a little weird and hard to understand but the basic gist of them is you can see ones back here I'm just in the start area if you were to try to go up here you'd hit a soft barrier that would push you back in uh, that's basically the gist of, of how soft barriers work as you move through like there's a soft barrier here but that soft barrier gets turned off or I believe if you um, 
enter in a different zone set, it turns them on. They're a little weird how they work. Um, so like there's not actually one here. I believe it gets turned on later on in the level, if that makes sense. Um, but like the one up here will, will always be on. Uh, and if you try to leave this area this way, this elastic barrier, this soft ceiling will push you back in. Um, so that's how you look at soft ceilings if you're curious. And again, there's a lot of different stuff in these uh, menus, including cheats. Uh, this will be more relevant to uh, when I go over the tag test. But uh, yeah, there's also some cheats in here. Um, Okay, Halo 4's editing kit is the weirdest one. It's the first one that 343 made, and they made a bunch of changes to Sapien. So it's going to look different, and even the levels are in different spots. So right here, when you actually load it up, it is under tags, but it's not under levels. Once you go under tags for Halo 4, go under environments, solo, and here's where all the scenarios are. I don't know why they changed it. Um... They also have a lot more scenario files in particular. Uh, so M30 underscore cryptum. Um, basically, whatever the title of the folder is, look for that dot scenario. That's the one you want to click on. You click on anyone else and the game or and Sapien will actually just crash. So make sure specifically you select title of the folder dot scenario. Uh, I'm actually going to look at uh, this one, which is midnight, I believe. I'm going to again title the folder M020, so I'm going to look for M020.scenario. Go ahead and double click on that. You can already see it's just different. Ugh. There we go. So yeah, this is <laughs> this threw me for a loop when I first saw it, which is why I kind of wanted to cover it a little bit. It's the most different of the Sapiens uh, Reach ODST, the ones I didn't show. It's all the same, except for this one. So this, in particular, the scenarios, take forever to load so i'm gonna go ahead and do a cut because it's gonna take a while okay the scenario finally loaded in for halo 4 the controls are going to be exactly the same you middle click you, you know, are enough to go up and down and whatnot um so yeah this is just very different um game window is detachable all these windows are detachable as well you can see right here behind it there's the hierarchy view the properties palette it's kind of all similar um Edit, switch zone set, you can switch to different zone sets as well. Um, I'll just stay here for now. Um, the main thing that I want to mention from this is there is a new window over here called Scenario Layers. If you want to look at triggers, so up here, Hierarchy View, um, Game Data, Triggers, you can see there's only two triggers. There's not only two triggers on this whole level. Um, you actually have to go to scenario, um, get this out of the way, scenario layers. Um, you have to click on the area that you're in. Um, so, sorry, M20, M20 underscore design, and then click on the area that you're in. I am specifically in crater. I should be. Uh, I think that's the, the zone set I'm in. Yeah, I'm specifically in crater. So I got to click on M20 scenario layer, then M20 design and then click on Crater. Once you click on Crater, there we go. Now you can see all the trigger volumes uh, that are in here, and they are also grouped as well. Um, at least they tried to make them grouped. Anyway, so that's Sapien. Basically, a bit of a rundown on just basic controls, how to look at things like trigger groups um, and stuff like that. So hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. If I need to issue an updated version of the video with new things that maybe I should have added but didn't add in this first pass, let me know. I'm more than happy to do another one of these um, with any new knowledge, like a part two or something even. But um, that's everything you know about Sapien, basic controls and looking at things like trigger volumes, etc. Uh, there'll be some other things that we can look at in Sapien that'll be more appropriate for other tutorials where we kind of get more advanced with the tools to really break down what's happening in the game.